Welcome back tennis fans, I'm JG and I'm back for a massive preview of the UMAG final between two of the hottest talents on tour, Yannick Sinner and Carlos Alcaraz. And here they both are, a cool graphic poster from Tennis TV, we've got Alcaraz and Sinner with the caption, who wins? And well, we have had a little sneak preview into this matchup because we saw it a few weeks ago at Wimbledon in the quarterfinal where Yannick Sinner was able to beat Carlos Alcaraz. And for me, it was a brilliant match. I really enjoyed it um, because they showed the two hottest talents in the game, um, all of their array of talents, but not just that. I like the way they acted. There was a great uh, level of respect between the two players. There was a situation where I forget exactly who it was. I might think it might have been Sinner who fell over and Adekaraz come over to the net to check if he was okay. And I thought it was very nice, especially considering a few days before we saw Kyrgios sister pass and it was nothing of the sorts. Neither of them had any respect for each other. And I feel these two are showing maybe some of the, the older players, the older young players, how to act. Um, on who will win, we know Carlos Alcaraz historically does struggle against Italian players. We know... Um, Yannick Sinner does very well against Spanish players and this year I believe he's 7-0 against Spanish players. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other tweets. We have Jose Morgado saying the UMAG final, the number one seed Carlos Alcaraz, number two Yannick Sinner. Alcaraz leads the head-to-head 2-1 -head but like I said three weeks ago Sinner did beat him in four sets at Wimbledon. Uh, we've got Vanch here saying Carlos Alcaraz was world 73 on July the 20th, 2021. On Monday, he will be number four in the world with an incredible record of 42 wins and six losses in 2022. And he's also with the tour lead in six finals reached on the season. And an important thing to take, take note of is when Carlos Alcaraz reaches a final, he doesn't lose. He's incredibly good in finals. I think Yannick Sinner has a very good final record as well, which means we could be in for a very spectacular match. And me and Ben will not be missing it. We will be doing a watch along. It's been a while since Wimbledon, but we're going to be back covering this match later on because it's a must-see against two, in my opinion, the two players who I think are going to take on from or take over from Djokovic, Nadal, Federer. These two have the ability to produce. A, a, a spectacle and people are going to be on the edge of their seats watching them and I think it's a really difficult one to call. Uh, let me know in the comments section how you see it going. We've got Vance and we have uh, Sin Sinkaraz. Is that what they're going to be called now? We've got Fedor, we've got Sinkaraz, Clay Court Final in Umag, their third meeting having split the first two on hard and grass. One of these under 21 top 10 players will walk away with their sixth career A to B title. How will that Alcaraz ankle uh, that he rolled today, Phil, tomorrow. Going to be interesting. Of course, Alcaraz coming into this one after a little injury in the second set against Sepieri. Um, hopefully, it's nothing too drastic. I remember we saw a similar incident with Alcaraz playing against Nadal where he rolled his ankle there. He was able to get up and beat Rafa and then went on, went on to win the whole event. So, I don't think it's going to factor too much. He seems to be able to recover from things quicker than most. However, Sinner is a seriously hot, hot talent. And um, I think people will assume Adekaz is a big favourite. I put this one as a 50-50 in a final, personally. I think it's going to be closer than people anticipate. And I don't see Adekaz as an outright favourite. Looking at the race to Turin here, I've just filtered an under-21 players. You can see, uh, this sort of shows everything I've been saying, really. Adekaz is leading the way by so many points. He's only 19 years old. You've got Sinner, who's almost 21, uh, and he's in second. Massetti, third. Holgorun and Jack Draper in fifth. But it really, it does seem like, for me, that it, it's them, them two and the rest. You could say Massetti's quite close to Sinner, but I feel Sinner's just not played enough events. And the longer the season goes on, the closer we get to the end, I think them two are just going to go completely up, up at the top. I mean, Alcaraz's already there. No one's going to catch him. And I just feel that they are the two hottest young talents. And you can make a case maybe for Jack Draper with, with time, playing a few more matches. He can be considered as a player like this. Holgarun's so young as well. Um, and if he can sort of sort out some of the other form. I know he's very good on the clay court. Not seen so much on, definitely not grass. He wasn't great on grass. Not great on, not as good on, on hard courts as well. 
Um, but yeah, that's just something interesting to consider. Uh, but enough about that. Let's focus on the main topic of the video, and that's the preview between these two in the UMAG final. I'm going to go back to this graphic and let's get some predictions in. Uh, me personally, I'm going for a bit of a surprise. I'm going to have Yannick Sinner beating Carlos Alcaraz in three tight sets. I'm not doing it because of the ankle injury. I just believe that with the whole, sometimes weird things happen in tennis, and with Alcaraz struggling against Italian players and Sinner doing so well uh, against Spanish players this year, he's just beating him at Wimbledon as well. I have a feeling that Sinner is going to sneakily grab this one. And that is my prediction. So Yannick Sinner in three tight sets. But there we go. That's my prediction. Let me know yours in the comments section below. And of course, make sure to join us for the watch along later this evening. I believe it's 7 p.m. UK time. And of course, if you haven't already, give us a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I can't wait to see you later on. See you then.